A Habitat for Humanity trailer stolen right off a job site in Taylor. It was full of paint, ladders, and other supplies needed to finish a home damaged in the 2015 floods. KXAN's Alyssa Gord shows us what this setback means. In 2015, this home was pushed off its foundation by floodwaters. It's where Jose had lived for 30 years. A lot of water got um, under the house and it fell down because of all the water. Most of the Williamson County homes that flooded were repaired, but Jose's home was one of two that was beyond saving. For the last few months, Habitat for Humanity has been helping him and his sons rebuild. It means having a house and it means uh, being able to come back over here, so I'm very thankful that they did help. It takes 200 Habitat volunteers putting in 2,200 hours. The project was nearly complete when they showed up to find their equipment and trailer gone. It's more devastating and demoralizing to the community at large and to our volunteers who take care of all of these things because they've been donated. Jose was hoping to move back in this year. Probably have some nice grass and probably plant a few trees on there and make it look good. But this could keep him waiting longer. This is an example of how long it will take to recover from the floods that happened with the effects of, of Hurricane Harvey. Jose knows rebuilding a life takes more time than most people realize. Someday he'll be able to move back home. Um, thank God for that. <laughs> Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And I want you to take a good look at this picture. This is the trailer that was stolen. It should be easy to spot. If you see it, call police. There were $9,000 worth of supplies inside. And Habitat for Humanity says they also need resources to help repair the 100,000 homes damaged in Harvey, Irma, and Maria. Their action plan to help involves three phases. There's immediate response, like assessing damage, clearing debris, and coming up with a long-term plan. The second phase is community stabilization, so providing guidance and determining repair needs. And finally, long term recovery. This is where the work begins on fixing and building homes and moving volunteers across the country to help. And of course, all of this happening during the holiday season. So much help needed for thousands and thousands of people from here to the Houston area. Yeah.